Hi, I'm Alex Smith from Radio EcoShock. Fort Mac, self-styled as Canada's oil capital, had to be evacuated today. It's in northern Alberta. The raging fires were coming right by the city. 70,000 people had to be evacuated. That's the largest in Alberta's history. And, you know, this brings out one gut reaction in me. Sad to say it, but what the heck did they think was going to happen? I mean, people go to work every day making big money, turning out the world's most polluting oil source, the tar sands. And it's polluting in a lot of other ways all over Canada. You get sulfuric acid coming out of there, the greatest single source in Canada. It's just a disastrous industry. And now what we have is these forest fires that are coming through a blocking high that has to do with the disruption of the jet stream. We've just had new science out from Dr. Jennifer Francis and others, including a scientist in England, describing how the record low levels of Arctic sea ice are changing the jet stream. So now you get this gigantic flow of hot air coming up to Fort Mac and the whole of northern Alberta. 32 degrees Celsius there, about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's insanely hot for the third day of May in 2016. Just crazy stuff. But the whole Arctic is hot like that, and that's part of the problem. And this is what I've got to think. I mean, look at Houston. It flooded and it flooded and it flooded because another blocking pattern, a disruption of the jet stream, just sat over that city and it rained and it rained and it rained. Again, I have to say, what did they think was going to happen? Houston is another self-styled oil capital. And Calgary, Canada calls itself an oil capital. It flooded a couple of years ago in tremendous ways like they'd never seen. Well, what the heck did they think was going to happen? I think, and this is very harsh to say, that the people at the tar sands who have evacuated 70,000 people should not go back. And in fact, if the fires were to rage right over the production facilities and shut down the tar sands, it would be a tremendous gift to my grandchildren, your grandchildren, and all future generations because we can't keep producing this way. Now, don't get me wrong. We had a major set of forest fires right around my village last year. We had hundreds of firefighters camped in the park right across from my house. I took in fire refugees. I know these are real people with real jobs, real lives, real kids, and I do feel for them. And I feel especially for the kids who are afraid of the future. But we're all afraid of the future now. We just can't produce energy in this way. We've got to get out of the tar sands. I'm Alex Smith. I hope you'll understand what I'm saying and that you'll tune in to Radio EcoShock each week and you can find more information at www.ecoshock.info. Thank you for listening.